Well, hey, James, how are you? I'm good. I'm very good, thank you. How are you? I'm very well, thank you. Um, now, life of a musician must be a constant roller coaster. How are you finding it all at the minute? Yeah, I mean, if it wasn't a roller coaster already, albeit a brilliant one, uh, global pandemic has certainly uh, turned it into a lot more. There's a lot more sort of downs with the ups. It's quite, uh, it's quite a ride. It's not really how any musician sort of wanted it to go. And by that, I mean we've had to stop doing gigs pretty much entirely. There's kind of a very small light on the horizon lately. Um, a friend of mine, Sam Fender, recently uh, played kind of a big outdoorsy gig to all sorts of like, I think it was a couple thousand people very spread out in a field up in Newcastle. And it gave us all a bit of hope. But um, it's difficult otherwise, because we really just want to get back to touring as we know it and a big packed room full of people having the greatest time, because that's really what it should be. Yeah, I'm missing gigs so badly. I used to go to at least three a week, and now that it's just zero, yeah. it, I'm like, I've got nothing else to do. That's my only thing that I love. Inspired by love, will your new album, are you hoping for it to inspire couples, fans wanting to find love, and people who just love love? Is that the vibe of this new record? I guess so. That's, a, that's a, All of that is a really nice way to put it. Um, I guess my music is about always one way or another about speaking from experience my songs are about speaking from experience um, and and uh, seeing how that resonates with others I guess because that's my favorite thing about all the songs all the music that I love is there's something in it that I can attach myself to or relate to um, even if it's you know come from someone else um, so and it's about I guess it's about expressing ways in which I've been moved in my life and and maybe you know seeing how how it will move others so and this third album yeah it's very positive you know i've often written uh music written songs from a kind of place of heartbreak whether it's my own or or, or someone else's kind of that i've that i've been a part of experiencing um but this time i listen back to these songs and yeah kind of to cut to the chase i've been with my girlfriend for 13 years mm -hmm. uh we've been through all sorts together not least my kind of roller coaster experience in music has been such a huge part. Well, it's been such a huge thing for both of us. Um, and this album, all these songs, they show gratitude towards the relationship. They, they, they pay tribute um, to a love that has lasted. And what is your secret to a love that has lasted 13 incredible years? That is a great question. I've never thought about whether there's a secret because I think in reality it's taking each day as it comes at you sort of thing mm -hmm. um, and, and kind of rolling with rolling with all the twists and turns that, that happen emotionally. Um, I think, I think if, <laughs> maybe if there's a secret, that's it. Take each day as it comes and, and, uh, and enjoy. And I guess learn as you go along. Yeah, absolutely. And were you together during the pandemic? Uh, yeah, yeah. We were out in Nashville for a bit together through all of that. And, we've, and we obviously lived together at home. So, um, yeah, we, we, we've, it's been a weird one, but we've, it's been wonderful in a, in a mad sort of twist of fate. It's been wonderful to spend so much more time together. I'm often away on tour um, or just away. You know, sometimes I'm just doing kind of promo in other countries and stuff. But it was, it's been wicked to be, to have so much extra time together. Thank you.